Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hayden from the Magical Killer Cow YouTube channel and today I am back with another video for you guys. This one I am playing as the Engineer with the Gunslinger, the Wrangler and the Shotgun on Koth Viaduct Pro. This was a TF2Lobby.com match that I played. A lot of you guys have been requesting that I do more of these matches so I thought I'd upload this one because I do kind of alright in this game. Uh, this was a full 30 minute round that I played so I've just cut it out to get the best highlights of it. Also, I don't really have too much to discuss in this video, so I want to try something slightly different. I've realized that I just sort of talk about something with TF2 in the background, but I really want to talk about TF2 in this video, and just sort of my thought process of it. An awesome YouTuber that goes by the name of Aces Wolf actually made a thought process series about TF2 where he basically discussed what he was thinking about whilst playing the game and I wanted to take a stab at that, see if I can do it and just want to discuss what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. So as you can see here, I am behind this little rock where there is a wall, nice uh, sort of comfortable place to put my sentry gun, um, not my sentry, my dispenser actually, my sentry goes up on those little planks on the top right there as you can see, that's definitely an okay place to put it, not exactly the best and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, the dispenser is just behind that wall so my team can get health and ammo quite easily without having to go all the way back to spawn or finding ammo packs and health packs. My teleport goes into the room behind me. It is quite a vulnerable place for scouts and uh, spies really to get behind and just take it out but the teleport wasn't my main concern in this gameplay. My main concern was trying to get that dispenser down so that my team can stay alive and also to keep my sentry up because I was using the gunslinger and it's quite easy to rebuild. Gunslinger is definitely the most effective for King of the Hill because it's easily built and your sentry is going to be taken out quite a lot since it is a very small proximity map. So putting a mini sentry there can just cause an annoyance. My main aim isn't to try kill things, it's actually just to do a bit of damage to be an annoyance to the enemy team and it seemed to work quite well. The most effective way of being an effective annoyance I guess for uh, this map in particular is changing where you put the gunslinger. I see a lot of engineers just put the gunslinger in one simple place and they don't move it. So it's really easy for the enemy team to figure out where they're putting the mini sentry and they don't even have to look and they can easily take out the sentry gun. And you don't want that, you want to surprise the enemy and keep on moving it. The little area on the top right there is quite vulnerable to people spamming out from the cliff on the top left. So as I said, keeping it moved around, not keeping it in one position is definitely going to benefit not only your team but as well you. I also throw down a mini sentry there just to sort of a body block because it stopped the soldier from getting past. Even though I do die quite shortly after, I do manage to delay him a little bit so I kind of had a chance to escape. Here I am being thrown up in the air by the demo man and thrown back down to the ground. I just found that pretty entertaining so I thought I'd show that to you guys as well. I'm going to be respawning in a second here and I'm going to be rolling back out going up on top of the cliff here and I'm going to throw down a mini sentry on the left hand side. You know what I said about trying to change up where you place the mini sentry? That is one of the best changes I made in this game. They'll have already been expecting it to the for, for it to be at the other side and I just completely confused them and it's there this time and it's a great tactic and it, it seems simple and it seems like common sense but not many people really understand how effective it can be. Uh, I do try to do a bit more work with my shotgun now, I've realised I have been kind of stationary. The gunslinger was invented into the game to sort of give you a chance to run around and be more mobile and I wasn't really doing that so here I am, I'm just running around trying to get some extra damage onto their team, managing to take out their heavy which was a very decent pick. The heavy medic, soldier and demo man are the main picks that you want to get in King of the Hill. Their medic is then alone so he has to retreat back to spawn so that he has to wait for a teammate to come along and help him. So that is definitely going to help us in the long run. Also, just a quick note, sorry if you hear any construction noises outside. It's been one of the reasons I haven't been able to pump out like every other day videos because there is a lot of construction work happening around my house. So just I apologize if you hear any of that. So, here is the mini sentry putting it up on the planks there. I managed to take out my shotgun. This is where I go huge with defense. We are in overtime. They don't have to cap it for too long until they win. So I am here with my shotgun. Our entire team's here, so I felt quite confident about this. 
but I had my shotgun. My mini sentry was just next to that rock, and that's an interesting place to put it, because even though it's quite vulnerable, when they are all suiciding onto the point, try to get as much time as it on it as they can, it definitely does prove to be effective. Here is my amazing shotgun aim. I don't understand how this soldier survived so long. I pull out my gunslinger to try to do something. I waste six shots missing him. Then they pull out um, a mini sentry. And that's kind of the thing that I don't realize as engineer. Like, I spend so long focusing down on one person uh, that I forget to build a dispenser and a sentry and everything goes crazy. Uh, and that's kind of the, one of the reasons that sort of holds me back from doing well. I actually talked to Bubble Bobbler. Uh, I think that's how you pronounce his name, from Chris Cast Distinguished Ducks, a Platinum, a UGC Platinum team, and he is, an, he is the engineer. He's been mentoring me and doing an awesome job at uh, answering my questions, so big shout out to him if he watches my videos. I highly doubt he does. But thank you all so much for watching. My name's been Hayden. Hopefully you enjoyed this sort of quick, fast-paced commentary where we just discuss about what I'm doing. If you would like to see more of them, be sure to click the subscribe button below, actually, uh, to... Uh, basically be notified when I post more of these kinds of videos. Tell me in the comments if you'd like to see more of them. Like, subscribe, favourite, share, dislike if you didn't like it, uh, and all that good stuff, and I will see you all in the next one.